Hey there, welcome to Life Noggin. At a young age, children begin to understand the world around them through observational learning, where young children observe the actions of others and mimic them. In a famous study called the Bobo Doll Experiment, children observed adults both verbally and physically abusing a doll. Later when the adults were not present, the children who saw the aggressive behavior reacted in a similar way. So it's clear that observation facilitates learning, but what if you didn't have anything to observe or anyone to teach you? In other words, what if you were never taught anything? To begin, let's discuss what it would be like if you were missing something as fundamental as language. Understandably, this is a tricky thing to study because, you know, it's incredibly immoral to isolate a person for the sake of scientific research. But sometimes due to horrible circumstances, scientists are able to study the brains of children who have been raised with little to no human contact. And the most famous of these feral children is Jeannie Wiley. Jeannie spent the first 13 years of her life locked away in a small bedroom in her parents' home. In 1970, her parents were charged with child abuse and Jeannie began rehabilitation with a team of psychologists and linguists. And scientists were using her experiences to answer the following question. If a person is deprived of language throughout their childhood, can they ever learn enough to be able to communicate well? At first, the answer appeared to be yes. Jeannie quickly began to learn new words for objects around her and even say phrases with two or three words similar to how toddlers speak. However, from there, her ability to communicate verbally plateaued. This is because she could not learn grammar, which linguist Noam Chomsky believes separates human language from the communication of animals. It appeared that Jeannie passed the critical period of learning human language, which is thought to end around puberty. Scientists have hypothesized that after a restricted developmental period where the nervous system is particularly sensitive to the effects of a certain experience, in this case language, it is nearly impossible to learn it. And the same effects have also been shown when learning sign language after the critical period. Now, you're probably wondering why there is a critical period in the first place. According to Eric Lenenberg, the linguist who popularized the critical period hypothesis, the function of language tends to settle in the left hemisphere of the brain after the critical period. And it's thought that the brain loses some of its plasticity after this lateralization. So if you haven't learned a language until after this point, it may be harder for your brain to learn the new material. And sadly for Jeannie, she was already past that point. However, while Jeannie would never effectively be able to use language, she was able to quickly learn other things, such as how to use the toilet and dress herself. And she was also incredibly fascinated by the world around her. So maybe there is still some hope for those who have never been taught anything. Language may have a critical period, but some actions may still be possible to learn through observation, no matter the age they're introduced. So what is something you've always wanted to learn? Leave it in the comment section below and I encourage you to go and learn it. A quick reminder that Life Noggin now has a channel that focuses entirely on the science of video games. Is the time travel in Overwatch possible? Check out Play Noggin and find out. Behind enemy lines, causing havoc, and zipping back to safety again. She's such a pain in the bastion because of her two special abilities. Blink leaps Tracer five meters in the direction she's traveling, and Recall rewinds her three seconds. As always, I'm Blacko. This has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.